I'd like to be under the sea in an octopus's garden in the shade. Welcome to PPI Recording Studio nestled in the cradle of New York City. Welcome to the second weekly episode for the month of May 2022 for dedication post-isolation because we're getting it out to the nation and beyond. First photo you're going to see come up today is a thank you to jazz vocalist and producer Keith Dames. Keith was kind enough to subscribe to this particular YouTube channel, which is absolutely Sam fantastic. Thank you so much, Keith, for doing that. We've actually cross-supported each other, cross-subscribing to our uh, specific YouTube channels. But you can see all of Keith's information, and that will be in the text description area of today's video, meaning live links at his website and also his Facebook page so you can keep up on what Keith is doing these days, performing and also producing. So thank you once again, Keith. Second photo you're going to see come up today is a thank you to Sharon Brand. We celebrated Sharon's birthday the last week episode on dedication post-isolation for Sharon's birthday was made. But between then and now, Sharon is such a sweetheart that she sent another donation into Project 142 Concert Series, which is the funding sponsor for dedication post-isolation YouTube series. So thank you once again, Sharon. God bless your heart for being such a staunch supporter of not only my personal appearances, Project 142, but also this particular dedication post-isolation YouTube series. God bless your heart, Sharon. Thank you. Third photo you're going to see come up today is a new friend, and it's Goldie DeVere. Now, Goldie I met by working here with the owner of PPI Recording Studio, Chip Fabrizi, because this young lady performs here, records here as well, and that's Goldie DeVere. And we're happy to support Goldie in her new single online release. But as well, Goldie, within the last week, such a sweetie, she sent a donation to Project 142 Concert Series. So thank you, Goldie. And it'll go a long way to keep not only uh, promoting you, for example, but also keeping this YouTube channel going. So thank you once again for your support and your donation to Project 142. First photo for the birthdays this week you're going to see come up, and that's my very dear longtime friend, Sweet Raquel. And it was her birthday a couple of days ago, and like Sharon, has been a long, long time dear friend, support for Project 142, my personal appearances, and also this particular YouTube series. So happy birthday, my dear. And second birthday photo you're going to see come up today, and that's for Deborah Mahoney. Now, she is a longtime dear friend as well. And the photo you're going to see come up is her favorite, favorite nonprofit organization. It's called Save the Frogs. If you don't know about Save the Frogs, you can guess what it's about. But I will have live links in the text description area as in their website and also their Facebook page and also their YouTube channel. So happy birthday, Deborah. We actually worked a Save the Frogs event together a handful of years ago. So happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you both, happy birthday to Raquel and Deborah. happy birthday to you. Project 142 Concert Series website is www.project142.org and our Facebook page is Project 142 NYC. Now Project 142, as with most artistic endeavors and businesses and organizations was severely affected by the pandemic, but we did not rest on our laurels or our dupa, as I used to say. We actually turned the energy around and put it to our good use. And that meaning we started this particular YouTube series April 28, 2020, right here at PPI, and we just keep on trucking. We're starting our third episodic season. So what we've done is I've taken the website and I've also taken our social media platform and put it into the overdrive and now supporting so many different organizations, nonprofits, small businesses, organizations such as Mother Rachel Orphanage Center in Uganda. Also we had an interview here on April 27th with jazz pianist and composer Rick De La Rada, and we're supporting their July 9th, 2022 Jazz for Peace concert in Nigeria. It's the first time that he'll be performing in Nigeria and it's through the organizer Upemi Akpan, and she and I have now cross-supported each other. She seems like a real sweetheart. Maybe one day I'll meet her. And point is, is that I've really expanded it exponentially. So 
First, Project 142 video promotion support for this particular week is Eleni Lombardo. Now, Eleni, I've supported her for the last two years through Project 142. She's a film composer, but she's really excited for this week. She's pumped because she's going to be celebrated and lauded in the United Kingdom Friday, May 20th, 2022, also the weekend of the 21st and the 22nd, this upcoming weekend. She will be involved with the International Composers Festival, and she's being celebrated as a film composer. She's so excited, and I can't blame her. That's a wonderful, wonderful accomplishment, so congratulations, Elaney. Second Project 142 video support that we're going to put out today, and that's to Vale. Now, Vale has a brand new video that was actually recorded and produced here at PPI, and that was put out this past week, and you can see her YouTube panel, so to speak, that I froze and freeze frame or a screenshot. And so I'm so excited for her with her new video. And we're going to have live links in the text description area, take two, as I always do. And congratulations to your new video. I know it's not the last one. She's just keeping on trucking. And third, Project 142 video promotion support. And that's for Susan, my dear friend. And she has a CD release coming up June 4th. 2022 at 4 o'clock right here in New York City. And that'll be at Don't Tell Mama, 343 West 46th Street between 8th and 9th right here in New York. And you'll see the flyer as I'm talking. And again, information, live links will be in the text description area. So congratulations, Susan. I know it's a lot of hard work making that happen, meaning doing a CD release, all the recording, and et cetera, et cetera, to make that happen. So good for you. So we're going to take it out today with something that I do Every once in a while with dedication post-isolation, meaning I'm going to interject a few of my underwater photography or photos that I've had the good fortune to travel around the different pockets of the globe to dive, and I just absolutely love it. It's another side of me that I don't talk about too much, but certainly sharing it today. So first photo you're going to see come up is what this particular poster is, and this is called a yellow frogfish, and we're traveling to the Hawaiian Islands. I actually took this off the uh, island of Maui. And what's so wild about the frogfish, outside of the color, most people don't understand these vibrant colors are underneath the waves. It's absolutely extraordinary. But as you can see, I'm pointing to the poster, <laughs> the picture's up, but as you can see on the bottom of the fish is they've actually evolved those fins into little stabilizers or little feet, if you will, because the frogfish is on the bottom most of the time waiting for a critter to go by for it to eat. So you can see how nature adapts and evolves. Really incredible. The second photo coming up today is, I'd like to be under the sea in an octopus's garden in the shade. Here's an octopus. Now that was taken off the coast of Hawaii, one of the Hawaiian islands as well. And he was so, or she was, so cooperative, meaning I came up to take the shot, it posed. And if you look hard enough, or if you look acutely enough, so to speak, upper center of the photo, you'll actually see the eye. It's so clear, it just jumps out. It's really beautiful. Now, octopus have something so extraordinary called chromatophores, and that's the skin cells in their skin. It makes them, or gives them, the capability to change color and change texture of their skin like that. It's just almost automatic, and they blend in with their environment. So critters going by that are predators, they just blend right in and hopefully won't see them. So they are not only extremely smart, but also masters of disguise. And the third photo you're going to see today, we're going to travel to the Sea of Cortez off the coast of Baja Peninsula, south of California. And that is a close-up of a long-spined porcupine fish. Now, you could see the eye is just so beautiful. It's this almost iridescent brown. It's so gorgeous. And they look so soft by this particular close-up. But what's so cool about them is puffer fish, balloon fish, porcupine fish, they blow up when it's a defense mechanism, when they get threatened. And they get about twice or three times their size. <laughs> They're like a little beach ball. And so that's what this porcupine fish would do had it been threatened. But it wasn't threatening because I don't pose a threat. I just wanted to take a picture. So this photography all has to or leads up to the fact of I got inspired by so many years ago watching The Undersea World of Jacques Cousteau when I was a much younger lad. 
and I just watched it every week and I was so intent on watching it and that man, the captain Jacques Cousteau, left the legacy that has affected so many people around the globe and it continues today today with the Cousteau Society, with the uh, remnants of his family, with the other grandkids and I think one of the sons is still alive. So this particular song, because this gentleman was moved by what Jacques Cousteau had put out there in the world for people to embrace, and that was John Denver. And this song is just absolutely spectacular. And underneath the text description area, there's a link to a YouTube episode by John Denver talking about how he met Jacques Cousteau and how he got so inspired and the song came to him by walking on the decks of the Calypso, which was the name of the boat. I Calypso, the places you've been to, the things that you've shown us, the stories you tell. I Calypso, I sing to your spirit, to the men who have served you so long and so well. Adieu. Adieu. Thank you for joining us today. Look in the text description there. There'll be connections and live links to the Cousteau Society and also to that John Denver video about how he came up with that song. We'll see you next episode. Until then, stay well and enjoy spring.